the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan's capital over the weekend causing concern here at home. NBC5's Kristen Ray is outside the American Legion in Colchester to tell us more. Kristen. Yes, many people here tell me they're concerned over what will happen next. We spoke with a U.S. soldier who tells us about his own personal combat experiences while serving in Afghanistan. Misha Pemble, Vermont resident, Afghanistan veteran. I had 27 months of deployment time in, in Afghanistan. I spent all my 20s up until I was injured. Retired Staff Sergeant Misha Pemble Belkin says during his two tours to Afghanistan, a lot was done to improve the country, while U.S. troops helped build cell phone towers, roads, and schools for girls, all while pushing back the Taliban. Trust was slowly built between the soldiers and the communities they protected. He recalls a teacher who risked her life to say thank you. She came out, snuck out of um, the schoolhouse with a plate of fresh-baked cornbread. And she was sneaking cornbread to all the soldiers that passed by her. He feels the troops on the ground gave it their all before being pulled from Afghanistan. I'm disappointed, but I'm not going to take the burden onto my shoulders. I hope all my brothers and sisters out there that did deploy over there. Don't take this burden. Peter Henney, associate professor of political science at UVM, says the move was inevitable. It wasn't clear what America committing to another five years, 10 years in Afghanistan would do for our image either. So I, I think we were kind of stuck either way. Veterans here at home now worry for the safety of those now living in Afghanistan. I'm concerned for the Afghan Afghanistan people, absolutely, because now they're right back to where they were 20 years ago, you know, or worse. Worry and disappointment shared by many. I feel deeply, deeply sad for, for those people over there. I also spoke with the White River Junction VA Medical Center. They say that this situation can be very triggering for some of our veterans. They're encouraging any members of our military and their family members to seek help during this difficult time if needed. I'm live in Colchester, Kristen Ray, NBC5 News.